welcome. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a refreshing recipe that I love to make when it's hot outside or when I'm short for time. So if you guys love shredded beef, you're gonna absolutely love the salpicón recipe because I'm gonna also be showing you how to make a delicious vinaigrette that's gonna help you for your salads throughout the week. Let's start off by adding three cups of water to the Instant Pot. Next, you wanna add two to three pounds of beef and you wanna make sure to cut it into smaller pieces. Half an onion, two garlic cloves, one bay leaf, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of thyme. Pressure cook your beef for 25 minutes. Now let's go over the remaining ingredients. Lettuce, avocado, chiles en escabeche, half an onion, two tomatoes, a small bunch of cilantro, flour tortillas. I thinly sliced half an onion and now I'm gonna be adding one fourth of a cup of our pickled jalapeno juice. And remember, we're gonna be using some of this pickled jalapeno juice for our vinaigrette. For your vinaigrette, you'll need half a cup of olive oil, one fourth of a cup of pickled jalapeno juice, the juice of one key lime, half a teaspoon of paprika, ground cumin, black pepper, salt, and one tablespoon of Mexican oregano. And next, you're just gonna quickly combine your vinaigrette ingredients. To your frying oil, you wanna place your tortilla halfway into it, okay? But if you want it to really bubble up, you can dip your whole tortilla in at once. But that's not what we're going for. I know the teenagers get mad at us with our safety tips, but here it comes. Okay, when you're splashing yourself, make sure that this part of the tortilla is lifted and not empty because you can end up splashing yourself and your feet and we don't want that. We want to keep you safe this summer. You want to splash the tortilla and not yourself. That is correct. How do we know? Getting there, done that. And it's not fun. <laughs> there we go. And if you see, I just gave it a slight little press to give it a little bit of a dimension. And now we're going to splash with the barrier from our tortilla so we can fully cook this bottom half, okay? And this can be done right here in about 45 seconds. Uh, make sure your oil's not too hot. Mine was a little smoky, but we're managing. And I'm going to continue frying the remaining tortillas for our delicious salad. And remember to save your beef broth for your sopitas de fideo uh, or anything where you just need a little bit of broth because it has so much flavor. And for your beef, you just want to thinly shred it, okay? The same way that Cloud shreds her chicken and she's gonna come and help in just a moment, that's exactly how you want to shred it. Just tiny little bite sizes. If you happen to have a cut that has some fat attached to it, go ahead and remove it for this particular recipe. Unless you know somebody wants to bite into it, but for the most part, just go ahead and remove it. And now it's time to assemble our salad. So go ahead and place your desired amount of greens. This next part is optional. You can use queso fresco, you can use cotija, or your favorite style of cheese. And you just need a little bit, not a lot. Don't push it. If you're packing this for a lunch, don't add your vinaigrette until you're ready to eat because it's gonna get your lettuce way too soggy uh, and we don't want that. But since we're gonna eat this now, we're just gonna pour it all in. And now, just gently combine all your ingredients. Ooh, it smells so good. It really does. And boom, done. I'm gonna need somebody very special to say ah. Uh. Mmm, that is so fresh and flavorful. <laughs> Sorry, I need both of my hands, but one's being used. <laughs> 
What I really love about this recipe is how easy it is and how satiating it is. Uh, the vinaigrette is super light and it's gonna be the only vinaigrette you need for the whole summer. Uh, I tend to keep this one in a bottle during the summer actually. So I hope you guys really enjoy this recipe because it's absolutely delicious. Mmm, that's so good. If you love nachos, you're gonna love this recipe because this is more like healthy nachos and you don't wanna miss out. If you don't have a flour tortilla, you can use your tostadas. And if you don't wanna deal with cooking the beef and shredding it, go ahead and get a rotisserie chicken. It's gonna work equally as delicious. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. We wanna thank you for all your beautiful comments on yesterday's recipe. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, adios.